Ethical News with your hosts, Anna Chavez and Casey Weaver. Good morning, I'm Hannah Tobitz. And I'm Casey Weaver. Welcome to the first edition of Bethical News. Thanks for making us your source for news, sarcasm, and other useless information to fill your otherwise empty minds. Unfortunately, we're going to leave you guys with some sad news this week. But to soften the blow, we're going to introduce a new segment called Sad News with Happy Natalie. everyone, I'm Natalie, and fall break is over, but only one month until Thanksgiving, which is pretty great. The days will start getting shorter, which means that winter is coming. But winter means snow, which that means warm drinks, fuzzy scarves, snow is so pretty. And we're only 60 days away from a holiday that I know and love and am very passionate about, Christmas. And if our condescending guilt trips aren't enough, maybe this will put a fire under your feet. Between now and when we fill the roster of 125 people, Happy Natalie will not smile. In fact, if we fail to fulfill our commitment, you may just make her cry. Look at that face. Is this what you want, Bethel College? A shocking new campus study has discovered that 62% of students do not know how to open the chapel doors by themselves. This problem is particularly noticeable in the afternoon hours, when our beloved John Thornton is nowhere to be found. For those of you who have forgotten that the world continues to move forward outside of this bubble we call Bethel College, we would like to remind you that next Tuesday is Election Day. So, in honor of the upcoming election, we have a very special guest. Good morning, Bethel College. It's George W. Bush. <laughs> Remember me? And we're hoping to mark the exact distance you can walk away from the D.C. before you realize you need to pick up the pace to make it to the bathroom on time. Don't forget, no matter how bad your break may be, you're still eating off-campus food. Happy spring break, everyone. Casey here is really upset that he's only gotten one shout-out on Bethel Crushes, despite this glorious mane he's been nursing over the past several months. Thank you. Yeah. So, to give you a little inspiration for your tweeting fingers, here's a little montage. Enjoy. Not that you'll be able to focus now, but we do have a few things to share with you that might be interesting. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see you all back on Bethel's campus. If you don't recognize me because of the haircut, I promise it's me, Casey Weaver, and this is my lovely new co-host, Aniqua Van Wagengardner. Ooh, it's Annika Van Weingarten, but yeah, thank you, Casey. That's it. And we have a new segment to help you break the ice with that girl that you've locked your eyes on. Here with some Christian pickup lines is Luke Eye Candy Eye Corn. You know why Solomon had so many wives? Because he never found you. You make me feel like Samson with his hair cut off. I'm a little weak at the knees. Girl, you're so hot, King Nebuchadnezzar tried to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into you. Proverbs says that whoever gives an honest answer kisses the lips. Well, feel free to shower me with honesty. We stole some lights from the theater department, scraped together $26 for some green fabric, and now we have our very own green screen. It's great. Which means that even though we're still filming in a dirty, filthy, old basement, we have the illusion of high class. You name it, we can be there. Tropical island. Oh, it's so nice out. Top of a mountain. Hanukkah, watch your step. And of course, a Bethel gazebo. I'm just feeling the flirt. Shall we? Let's do it. The Dining Commons promises to always have chocolate milk in the dispenser. <laughs> yeah, huh. right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sean Holgren says, I resolve not to make any more awkward comments from the chapel stage. Sean, let's be realistic here. You will. In the last Bethel New Year's resolution that's bound to fail, the baseball team promises to finish the season with a better record than the men's basketball team. With the way their season's going right now, could be possible. We'll be back in January, but as we go, we'd like to leave you with a little Christmas gift by way of a segment we've entitled Happy Natalie Pets a Puppy. 
don't know what to expect. How nervous are you? Scale one to ten. Oh, like real, like excited. Thirteen. <laughs> we got it. Maybe, we got it. We got maybe. Hold on. I suppose I'll tell you in a second. Oh man, <laughs> is something? Gonna, is it gonna be a live animal? I hope not. Okay, okay. I don't know if I should jump right, or ready? something. When... Open your eyes. In honor of our upcoming alumni weekend, we thought it would be appropriate to bring back a Bethical News alum to bring you up to speed on next week's activities. Good morning! It's so good to be back on campus. It's been so long I almost forgot what excessive PDA looked like. In preparation for next weekend, Campus Activities is hosting the first ever Homecoming Games. We've got to wrap things up, but before we go, let us know what's on the outside. Casey, I've learned three things since being out of here. One, be thankful for John Thornton. In the real world, you have to open your own doors. Mm, that's good. Two, when you graduate, you have to buy your own toilet paper. And the soft stuff is expensive. It's worth it, though. It is. Number three, turns out getting engaged after three months of dating isn't normal. <laughs> And Sufficient Grounds is a way better place than Craigslist to meet people. I've been to some dark, dark places, Casey. That's fine, Hannah. <laughs> Stay strong. With the trustee board on campus and all of you visiting prospective students, we're almost guaranteed to have some good food in the D.C. today. Can't wait. Yeah. Annika, would you like to hear a joke? I guess. Women's sports. Is it any wonder why you're single? Annika, do you know why girls don't usually play football? Why, Casey? Because 11 girls would never be caught dead wearing the same thing out in public. It's just true. It's just true. The official tally of fire alarms on campus has gone up to a whopping 22. We did some digging and discovered that over half of them have been caused by people burning food. Hey, we understand that making toast can be complicated. That's why we're going to break it down for you step by step. And we promise to go slow. Like Sesame Street slow. Here to show you how to make toast and making his Bethical News debut, please give it up for our very own, the one, the only, the always sexy and plaid, Dr. Sean Holkren. see your problem. What? You need something hotter. I got the solution. What? Perfect. Oh boy, oh boy, that's unbethical. That is unbethical. If you still just can't imagine Valentine's Day without a date, then do what I'm doing. Sign up for Icorn 66.
Hi, I'm Will. God's Will. That's all for this week. Have a great weekend. Love birds. Good morning. It's a full house in chapel today, and we here at Bethical News would love to extend a warm welcome to our visitors. With a trustee board on campus and all the... Gosh. What? I am... Lord, yes, Lord, Kill. yes, yes, Lord. Do. Do. Tonight at 8 in the p.m. in Goodman, at a Dutch Blitz. Dutch Blitz. This time of year has a way of making everyone a little more tired and on edge. Yes. And we've seen three signs this week. I mean, it's Thanksgiving break time-ish. Are you a baby? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed your chance... It squealed. Did you? Anyone hear my nostril? <laughs> <Yeah>. It went. <laughs> Sorry. Two. Did you fart? <laughs> Me? No, it was my oh. button against the table. Uh -huh. right. I remember the last time my button hit the table. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Farts. What are you gonna do? They're hilarious. So we're gonna break it down for you step by step, and we promise to go slow, like Sesame Street slow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The men's JV basketball team has a game against Saturday. Not the not the day. They're not playing against the day. They're playing against a team, but I don't know the team that they're playing against. <laughs> While the rest of the world carries on outside of our bubble, you all continue to use your creative energy to create more and more fake <laughs> Bethel Twitter accounts. Hashtag, did you hear that? This little baby can't even talk about the Thanksgiving break. You have noticed them too, maybe. I don't know. I'm a little baby. I'm oh, exotic. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. That went far. Let's this weekend, the theater department is performing the diary. Uh. The diarrhea of Anne Frank. My cameraman's getting mad at me. No, I'm not. I'm yeah. not mad. I swear I'm not mad at you. It's, we're on your time, Brennan. Come in, join campus activities for a game of life size Dutch Blitz. Sounds like a lot of. <laughs> I can't even make a joke because I can't even talk. Am I the only one getting frustrated around here? Nope. Toodles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we do toodles one more time? Nice to see you. We haven't gotten a toodle. Just get toodles.